We're here with U.S. Sailing Team's Barry Topsider, High Performance Director and Head Coach Kenneth Andresen. Kenneth, this is a bit of an unusual situation for us in that we have a major ISAF regatta at the Olympic venue right before the Olympic Games. How are you guys going to take advantage of this event? It's, it's outstanding. Having this event here for us is, is huge. Of course, it's also huge for other countries. Now, it's, uh, it's everybody's game. We're coming in here fully prepared. We're trying to run this just like we would run the the Olympic Games and the Paralympics and trying to do as much as we can and simulate uh, all the all the setup all the preparations to make sure that you know we, we find out last uh, minute here what works and what doesn't now, it's not really we're not going to make a lot of trial and error attempts here we have a, a really good plan in place and we're just going to make sure that, uh, that we don't have to make any minor tweaks um, but for our sailors coming here just a few weeks before the game starts here is is an outstanding opportunity. Do you think our fans at home are going to be able to read very much into the results that come out of this event? You know, partly. Of course, our sailors are fast. You know, we're going to be be pushing all we can. We're going to try to get on the podium in as many classes as we can. But this is this is not really a sign of how we're going to do at the games. You know, we we're going to see a lot of other a lot of other factors come in at the games, and and we are. We're super prepared on all those factors as well. As well, you know, the games is is a, is a pressure-filled event, and you know, a lot of a lot of sailors will, will not be able to handle the pressure. You know, there's uh, whether being being on home field, whether being here for the first time, being you know, there's lots of lots of things that can happen. Our team is very well prepared for that. Now, right before this event, you took the entire team to Lanzarote in the middle of uh, the Atlantic Ocean on a team retreat. How do you think that helped them prepare mentally for what they're about to face? It was a, a really great team experience. You know, they did a lot of things that, that they were not used to doing, but most of all, they had to work together. They got to know each other very well. They got to know and see sides of each other that they hadn't seen before because we put them in, in unusual situations. But I'm, so, I'm so proud of them. They all worked extremely hard. They all came, came there with, with a great attitude and, and I think learned a lot of good lessons. So you know, combined with our SEAL training you know, back in March, this trip here where we did put them through uh, a couple of exciting uh, activities as well, uh, they, they can be ready for almost anything. Sounds like the focus has been just as much on their mental skills as on their physical sailing skills. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be a huge part of the games and as I said before, you know, all kinds of pressures come in and we'll see how the different teams deal with, deal with that and I know that, that we are certainly prepared. Now, this morning we had all of our teams sign um, many Olympic flags yeah. that said USA with the Olympic logo on them and for many of our teammates it was a very special moment. Um, when you see them doing things like that, do you often think about you know what our athletes were like at the beginning of this quad and everything they've gone through since then? For sure, we've come so far. We've come so far. We are we're looking to 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 polish off all the all the few last steps here, and in the next in the next weeks, you know, we have. All our sailors are training here. We're still coming back at the end of June to do some more some more training. And then we're going to take a couple of weeks uh, with our families at home before we come back for the for the games full on. But you know, seeing the group having developed into into Olympic athletes is is fantastic. You now you could just see the the face on so many of them when they got to sign the 219th flag. Now, it's exciting. You know, seeing the Olympic rings and a lot of them realize, wow, this is really here and it's happening and it's exciting. All right, Kenneth, thank you so much and good luck this week. Great, thank you very much.